Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all an updated silk press video. As you all can see right here, I do have conditioner in my hair, but I wanted to show you all that I did not sit up under the dryer because you don't want your hair to be too soft because I noticed that sometimes if the hair is too soft, you can get a little heat damage. So this is my hair freshly washed. As you all can see, it has grown a lot since the last time I silk pressed my hair. Right now, I'm just making sure I put my hair in lots of sections because as always, sections work better. Now, before we get into the blow dry process, I am adding this Design Essentials Leave-In. As always, I will make sure all of the products are linked in the description box below. Following up with this silk, this silk serves as a heat protectant, but it also makes my hair very, very smooth and soft when it is straightened. I'm also going to use this um, heat protectant by Mega Silk, and I used this last time I did a blowout, and it really, really helps um, add shine to the hair, as well as help me detangle, which I thought was really, really weird last time I straightened my hair. And of course, I'm using my wet brush to detangle. Now, when blow drying your hair, I believe it is important to always start with using the tension method first I feel like it really really gets the hair stretched out as you all can see here and then after I get it stretched out to my liking and I can see the length of the hair and most of the water is out I will add this comb attachment and then I will go in and blow dry more. Now I am using my Silverbird blow dryer. I have been using this blow dryer for about two years and I absolutely love it. I believe it is a professional blow dryer because I have seen a lot of professionals use it. I believe I only got mine for $40, but as always, like I said, I will make sure it is linked in the description box. And I am using my wet brush to blow dry my hair further. Sometimes using a brush, it kind of gets those kinks that the blow dryer and comb couldn't get on its own and of course I'm going to repeat this process all over my head Once you get to the curl on my head, you kind of run into the 4C curl, so it does take a little bit more time and more sections once I get to the crown. But here's my hair fully blow dry. As you all can see, I was happy to be done because I feel like blow drying the hair is kind of like, I don't know, just the process that everybody dreads kind of. So this is what my hair looks like blown out. And I'm going to put my hair in further sections before I get into the straightening process. I am trying out some new flat irons today and these are by Hair Art and of course it will be in the description box below. Now I am taking small sections. I feel like the smaller the sections are the straighter you can get the hair without rushing and I will be going over the roots a few times and then also using the comb chase method for this process. I am using um, the heat setting that is between 370 and 450, I believe. I tried to measure it out so that it was 410. So the heat setting on this flat iron does not have a digital setting. It only has the little nozzle that you can turn and every setting is not labeled. So I made sure I kept it between 370 and 450. In certain areas of my hair, I did make sure I turned it up a little bit more because in some areas of my hair, it needs more heat than others. These are ceramic flat irons I am kind of afraid of titanium flat irons the last time I had real bad heat damage and had to do a second bit chop the professional that did my hair was using titanium irons now 
it could have been the process that she used but for right now i'm kind of in my head about titanium irons so i haven't tried them since then So this is what my hair looks like after I have went through and straightened every piece. As you all can see, it is time for a trim. My hair is just flying in certain spots. It is honestly not as bad as it was last time because I did try to make sure I kept up with my trims this year. However, it has been about six months since my last trim, so I am definitely due for one. Now with this process I am going to show you all kind of step by step how I went through it. Now being that my hair is longer I can't lie you guys it is getting a little bit more difficult for me to trim my hair myself because my hair is reaching my back but as you all can see I put it up in the back and of course I'm not being afraid to get rid of those frayed ends that are see through and that are just rough. And when I pull up the section from the middle, I'm making sure that I have gathered, gathered hair from the previous section to make sure that it is as even as possible. As you all can see here, I'm just trying to figure out how to get that last piece on the end. And as you all can see, it is very difficult. Once your hair start reaching your back, it is like a more difficult process and it takes more time. But I settled for splitting the hair in half and looking at it from the front to make sure that I can get that even cut. Doing your first initial cut in the back of your hair is so important because you really set a guide to travel all over the head. And it really takes more time to do this part. But once you get the back trim, I promise you that the front is a little bit more easier. But as you all can see, I am going for a clean cut. Kind of blunt in the back, but as I move up my head, I am going to begin cutting in layers because my hair has grown in layers this year and that's because I have experienced a little bit of breakage in the middle of my head. The middle of my head tends to be my stress spot so I am letting that hair catch up with the back as you all will see once we get there. Cause it only reminds me of the past But you're still drunk texting me when you're lonely yeah. I don't know why you keep calling me on my phone Thought I was clear, I'm not your friend I'm not the only, you think I'm the same But you don't even know me So I don't know, I don't know Why you keep calling me What makes you think I would go back? Why would I want 
try again you're not listening no you keep saying you change but we both know people don't change it's time to let me go why won't you leave me alone i deleted all your messages I do say this in a lot of my videos, but I want to make sure that I am saying it here. You all definitely want to make sure that you are using real hair shears for this process. Using kitchen scissors or craft scissors can really damage your hair strands, so just make sure that you are using real hair shears. As I get to the top of my back section, which is really the crown of my head, I am going in and doing my vertical cuts. Because my hair is growing in layers, if I would have just trimmed my hair straight across and going in a horizontal, horizontal cut, I would be missing these split ends that you all are able to see here by not doing a vertical cut. And you want to make sure that you are getting all of your split ends because if you don't, it can continue to travel up and split even further which would stunt your hair growth. Once I finish trimming the sides in the front, of course I am going to combine those sections in the middle just to make sure that the hair is even as possible. And I will go down the length of my head and then travel through the sides as well just to make sure that I have given myself an even trim all over my head. Let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that I gave you my heart and you tore it apart Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non-stop and this is what my hair looks like when it has been completely trimmed. I really love when I get a fresh trim because it just makes the hair look very healthy and thick and full. And I just can't keep my hands out of it. I am getting ready to put some curls in my hair. And as you all can see, I am adding a little bit more silk to each section. And I'm literally bumping the ends. <laughs> When I get to the front of my head, I do curl the hair away from my face. And that is basically to get those little waves and bangs that most people like to wear in the front. And I just like to take my fingers and run through the hair because honestly, I never know how exactly I want to wear my hair until I just play in it a little bit. And I really like how I have a lot of body in the back of my hair. I always like a lot of body in my hair for some reason, but I'm just running my fingers through it trying to figure out exactly how I want to wear it. I really did like how it came out and I really like the fact that my ends look more healthy than what they were before and I was able to get those dead ends off and I pretty much settled for like a heavy side swoop and bangs for the night
So the next morning I did have a few humidity issues. So I did go in and add a oil, which is the Jamaican black castor oil. I added a little bit of heavy oil to my hair. Here in North Carolina, we are still experiencing a few hot days and a lot of humid days. So I needed to add a heavy oil to my hair to combat the humidity. And I'm just going back through and putting a few more curls in. And then I will wrap my hair and show you all the final results. And for a sleeker look, I did opt to go ahead and put some edge control on my hair. And I probably will only apply this edge control probably about once a week or maybe twice a week. I try not to add too much products to my hair or edges throughout the week, whether I'm wearing it straight or in its natural state. So I'm just smoothing it back. And here is the final results, you guys. It kind of looks like I have a doobie wrap. That's exactly what it is. As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. See ya.